This is Twit. Uh, right. If you're using an iOS device, Safari is and always will be your default browser. But it doesn't mean you have to use Safari all the time. You can have other browsers. And there are some very good browsers. I've become on every other platform, including Mac, Windows, and Linux, uh, and even iOS and Android, a Firefox fan. Firefox on the desktop gives you a lot of really great privacy features, and they seem to be getting better all in all the time. But they also make a really interesting app for iOS that's called Firefox Focus, F-O-C-U-S. It is the Firefox browser, but it's always in private mode. It has ad blockers. It is very secure, very private. And because you can just keep it on your iPad uh, as an icon, when you want to surf privately, let's see, you want to, maybe you want to Snoop around on Micah's Chihuahuas. Do you think if I search for that? Ooh, that's a good question. I will find any Chihuahuas. <laughs> What's good and bad about Chihuahua dogs? Okay. <laughs> Everything they say that's bad is wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> they're all good all the time. Let me talk about some of the features built into this. It has built-in tracking protection, so you can block ad trackers, analytics trackers, social trackers, and even other content trackers. Remember, sometimes this will break websites. That's why they put a warning up. But if you really want to be private, that's a great thing to have. Blocking web fonts isn't so much about privacy, although, of course, if there are web fonts on a website, the server that serves those fonts will know your existence and can note your location but blocking web fonts also speeds up browsing we use web fonts if you go to twit.tv we purchased a very nice font for our main font and that will download the first time you come to twit.tv but you can block it you can use face id to unlock the app so because when you use a browser it remembers the last place if you went to if you don't want anybody to know what you've been up to you can use that and that way only you would be able to open this browser you could choose your search engine unfortunately start page is not an option but DuckDuckGo is uh, and you know I'm still working on if somebody knows how to add start page using the percent s string I don't think uh, start page uses that technology but if you do email iOS today at twit.tv because I'd love to know how to do that you could turn on or off autocomplete the reason people sometimes turn autocomplete off is that's generating information from the server you're visiting the search engine you're visiting and sending them information about what you're searching back you may not like that get search suggestions a lot of people turn those off as well because again that's asking the server for information you can create a Siri shortcut that will erase all your traces uh, oh, on nice. here including your history your caches your cookies so this is true private browsing you can even get Siri to be an accomplice in this you can of course set your favorite site as your home page and there's one more feature that I find unique this is the Safari switch. If you turn this on, it becomes one of Safari's content blockers. Now, you know Ooh. that in order to do that, you have to download a content blocker. Apple doesn't provide any. And then you have to go into the Safari settings on your iOS device, go down to content blockers, and choose the content blockers you want to use. You can turn on Firefox Focus, which means it is also an ad blocker that will work through Safari. So this gives you additional privacy even in Safari. So another good reason. This is absolutely free. Comes from the folks at Firefox. They do a great job. I think this is a really nice tool for people who want to have private surfing available to them at all times. This is this is uh, kind of an experiment. It's called the Firefox Focus Privacy Browser. I don't know what Firefox plans to do long term with this. Uh, they are continuing to update Firefox. They haven't updated Focus in a couple of months, so I'm, I'm wondering. But I have to say, uh, for right now anyway, it is up to date. It's great. It doesn't do one thing on iOS 13 that I wish it does. Safari will use the desktop sites on iOS 13. That was a new feature they added to Safari, which is fantastic. Uh, Firefox Focus, just like the old Safari, you have to request the desktop site if you're using it. On an iPad Pro... Getting the desktop site is a really nice feature because you have a big screen and there's no reason you should be looking at a mobile site if you're using your iPad Pro. This won't matter to you at all, though, on iPhone or older iPads or smaller iPads. Firefox Focus.